James Mel and this James all about business this is about a part-time chief of staff role this is especially for those individuals who don't have a background in chief of staff what to do when you do not have chief of staff experience I'll give my thoughts and perspectives stay tuned please give a like and subscribe to this channel I think a word cloud is important chief of staff word cloud here is something that perhaps you can use as a starting place for yourself. You can stop the video and take a snapshot on your computer screen. I think this is not obviously everything a chief of staff does. They're all different. You can look at a lot of chief of staff job descriptions online and LinkedIn. What I'm emphasizing here is gaining that language, understanding how to speak like a chief of staff. So having the perspicacity on the subject matter itself. And I think that cogent capability will help you in your conversations about acquiring this role in interviewing and so forth. First step, write out your chief of staff charter. So what I want you to think about is writing this out exactly what you want because it's going to be harder to get what you want without verbalizing it, without having some sort of plan and strategy and being able to speak to that. So when you write things down, you can really visualize what this job is and I'm emphasizing this in terms of perhaps you don't have that experience and really talking to your manager in a way that is going to help you get to that role. It's also making sure that you've really thought about these particular thought starters, as I call them, and write these down of what it means because you'll be asked these questions and you really want to deliver that very crisp message and ability and knowledge that you have already of a chief of staff. So be sure to really emphasize that. So I'm gonna talk about here is, what do you want from this role? Write that down. What do you offer to this role? Why do you want this role? And what soft and hard skills do you possess already? And write down also those that you need to acquire. So look at job descriptions, see what they're asking for, and perhaps if there's a gap in what you have experience in, be sure to write that down so that you're aware of it and you can build a plan to acquiring that experience and knowledge and skill set. And also, is there anything else you want to talk about? This will help you write cover letters. It'll help you write your resume, actually write this proposal for your chief of staff in the part-time role in your stretch assignment at your organization. Also, be sure to use your own language. Don't use ChatGPT. It's very tempting to do so, but it's important to use your own language. Now, if you need some thought starters from ChatGPT, go ahead and do so. But don't have it write your cover letter. Don't have it write your resume. You want to be as original as possible in when you are seeking this role. And this is really for yourself. And you want to make sure you possess your own language in what you're talking about and what you're seeking for your future endeavors and your future career. Second step, add your COS interest to your human resource information system. Some systems allow for this. And they also might ask where you might want to relocate within the organization. It's also about making sure that you're starting to document what your interests are in your organization. And then also equally important is to discuss with your manager. Your manager should not be surprised by anything that you ask for in the future, especially as it relates to development, and you start that conversation. A good place to start the conversation is in your performance evaluation or perhaps at the beginning of a new year. Third step, I would build into my development plan my interest in chief of staff, and I would ask for plan support. A development plan could be an acquisition of getting classwork done, such as for hard and soft skill development, but also it could be for your plan for a chief of staff part-time role stretch assignment in your organization. You've put into your development plan what you're interested in, but I would also write out a specific proposal in writing in a PowerPoint what it looks like, who it could be for. Perhaps it's for your immediate organization, perhaps for your manager, perhaps for your manager's manager. And there's a way of thinking about that and being very specific. What could you bring? What do you offer? What are the pain points in that organization? What are solutions and opportunities that you can help that leadership team to move forward? The organization does not want to lose high performance employees, those employees that are exceeding expectation and really to keep them moving forward. Additionally to that, they want to make sure that you're not a flight risk. And so this is one way that an organization might be more helpful in helping you to acquire this stretch assignment. Now, the reason I'm talking about this in terms of stretch assignment 
is that not all organizations have the ability at this point to put into place a full-time COS. So chief of staff is, I would say, in many corporate organizations, it's a new title, it's a newer title. There's only one or two, and especially at the most senior level, but this can be executed at a lower level. And I think it's important to think about your experience and how you get there. And I think it's important for your manager and your manager's manager to know that you're an asset to the organization and that you can do this. And perhaps they weren't even thinking about that. And so you're bringing something forward that they had not thought about before. Now, if your organization offers a skip level meeting, those are usually set by that skip level director, manager, VP, whomever that is. And when you have that conversation, talk about that interest. Perhaps they would like that chief of staff, even on a part-time level, to support them. And it's something that's really important to do. So a skip level culture is really open to having these ideas come forward. And sometimes, you know, it's your opportunity to bring this out, even if that particular manager, director, or VP does not talk about those things specifically, you can talk about this with them in your skip level meeting. The fifth step might be, and this is something that if your organization does not approve of your chief of staff, even on a stretch assignment, even on a part-time level, is to think about perhaps your favorite nonprofit that you volunteer at already. How can you help them out? Perhaps there's a capital campaign. Perhaps there are specific committees that need a lot of assistance, a lot of help, a lot of chief of staff skills that they can actually benefit from and you can benefit from as well. So it's really looking at that experience, getting that experience, add to your abilities in both the soft and hard skill set in your chief of staff platform and capabilities. So I think it's a really important thing to think about. Don't be discouraged if your particular proposal is not accepted. They're not always accepted, but it's one way to keep moving forward and to never get your mind off of this and to always think about this role in terms of things you can do in the future and to not give up on that particular future endeavor and career. So I worked at two companies where I wrote a proposal and a job description for a role that didn't exist. I was able to get those jobs but it took a lot of work to get those particular jobs. It was not a straight shot. It took a bit of time. In one role, it took about six months, and it was something that I'm really glad that I did. I think about how I did that and all those particular skill sets to get that particular role. Be sure, again, to subscribe to this channel. Please give a like, share this video with someone else who's also interested in Chief of Staff. And I think ultimately, success is something that you plan out by being very meticulous and writing things down and having a plan and not hoping for it, but actually working towards it. Thank you again, and I will see you very soon.